But we are starting with just how much we all really want to fix the damn roads. Are you willing to pay for it? Governor Gretchen Whitmer outlined a 45 cent a gallon gas tax to raise $2 billion for roads in her first budget. So, you know, let the debate begin with Nolan Finley of the Detroit News and Stephen Henderson of American Black Journal. Hey, guys. So, hey. what do you think of that gas tax? That's what everybody, you go to the grocery store. I was sitting at the hair salon this week. <laughs> Everyone, is, Everyone talking is talking about, about the gas tax. Well, it's, it's all, <laughs> anybody's talking about it. My email's filled up time and time again. Are people yelling at and you or what? we get calls on the radio show all morning. Uh, there clearly, as has always been the case in this state, no sentiment for raising the gas tax. This is going to be a very, very tough sell. I don't know what you've experienced on your show, but the callers seem to believe there's money they can find somewhere else. Yeah. They want the roads fixed, but they do not want to hire gas. Yeah, tax. I think or, people... Or maybe is it just that the 45 cent is the, the top yeah. going yeah. in asking and that there's going to be some kind of wiggle room and well, compromise coming true. in? Uh, I, I don't know, because that number, I mean, you, you multiply that number, you get about $45 million per cent, I guess, uh, on gas tax. If you add that up, you get to this $2 billion number it's that we need. It's, it's $2.5 2. 2. Yeah. minus $600 million that they're going to shift. That, Goes to the schools, uh, right? At least, um, and at least we can all agree on that 2.5 billion dollar number yeah. now, right? Well, well, well supposedly. Sure. Right? I, mean, I mean, again, well. that's part of the problem is that people believe that we can do it with less, that that you can find money that's being wasted elsewhere. Oh, please, but there's been report um, after report. But out. people don't believe, and part of that is about you know just believing in in government in general, which. You know, one side of the aisle has done a very good job of convincing people that they shouldn't trust government and that government doesn't spend their money well. You know, my issue with the gas tax, and, and, and I, I think this is a fine proposal, it's one of the ways you could do this. There's not a lot of choice, by the way. I mean, you can get this money yeah. in a couple of ways and not others. But my problem with the gas tax, of course, is that it's regressive, right? Yeah. Uh, but, but there aren't a, a lot of progressive options to reach for in Michigan, uh, in Michigan's uh, structure, and so she didn't. Ha her hands were tied a little bit, unless she wanted to embark on like a serious reform that would uh, that would put some other things within reach. But, but there are some mm -hmm. things that make this palatable. One, I mean, she did propose a fattening the earned income tax credit, uh, right. which I to think is a good idea that. because it encourages it work, and we need more people to rejoin the workforce. Uh, she also, I mean, they they also could push tie bar it to auto insurance reform, right. which would more than cover the cost. Right. If we could bring Michigan down anywhere close to the national average in yeah. auto insurance premiums, you could more than cover the cost of the added gas tax. But people are still going to look at the pump and see three dollars when in Ohio it's two thirty and two forty. That forty five cents is a, a starting point. I predict when, when this is all over, it's going to be somewhere in the 18, 19, 20 cent range, but they're going to grab the sales tax money that is uh, that is uh, applied to the to the cost of a gallon of gasoline and, and put over. that on roads too. Now, that creates other funding problems, but I think that's easier yeah. than f to fix than trying to get to so, a 45 know, cent And, and when I talked tax. to the governor last week and she said, you know, once I put out the budget, it will be the, the dealing and the debating will begin yeah. in Lansing right now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's interesting that what kind of shells are going to start to move around mm -hmm. in, in exchange for what oh, she might sure. be able to get about that. But you've talked about she wants to repeal mm -hmm. the pension tax, that there's going to be a lot of tax. On government employees, right, government employees. in general. Right, but, but that there is going to be some, some change in there about how she wants to tax then smaller companies, the LLCs as well. That's not going to happen. Well. This a Republican legislature is not going to let her raise taxes on small businesses to give government pensioners a tax break that won't apply to all other retirees. Their, their voters would slay them for that. I mean, if you're going to give pension tax relief or retiree tax relief, you've got to apply it across the board to all pensioners and also people who don't have pensions and are trying to get by on their 401ks and personal savings. That's fair tax policy. What do you think? Uh, you know, I, I don't love the idea of this, this uh, the business tax or the pension tax uh, thing that she's talking about. Uh, those, aren't, those aren't great ideas. But, but I want to make a point, uh, again, about this 45 cents per gallon. Mm -hmm. If you add that up, it's about 250 to $400 a year on your average mm -hmm. consumer. I'm about to take my car in for repairs from last year's uh, disastrous road uh, freeze and thaw. I'm going to spend $750 to $1,000. That's after having spent $500 on brand new tires last fall as well. 
the the way to sell this and to stop talking about these other things that are that are kinds of uh, shell games and trying to put pressure on this constituency to support mm -hmm. this thing the way to sell it is this is this is a tax break right uh, this is a reduce in a reduction in cost to to drive the roads uh, almost everybody will pay less in this gas tax than they pay to fix their cars and that constantly. is absolutely true and Snyder tried to sell, he it, tried that to sell way, it that way and it went down 80 percent the, ga the sales tax all proposal. people see is that pump price and you're, you're going to have to find a way to mitigate that 45 cents yeah. and bring it down because people drive across the line here to Ohio and, and they're going well, to yeah, say everybody you'll, has you'll, that not, Yeah, I was just going to say, not yeah. everybody has that no, option I'm in terms of geographic up, punishment for a gas station travel, who's on the state border. As they travel, they're going to see that we are much higher in terms of our yeah, gas prices. Yeah, but they're going to travel. They're going to see, Nolan, when they pass into the state line, that Ohio's roads are much smoother and much better. For the same price per gallon of gasoline, and that's what they're going to see. And the questions I've heard Ohio's raised, raising that money other ways. We, the questions I've heard raised on my show is, you know, why, you know, why isn't, uh, why do we pay the same in taxes? Actually, we pay more in tax, fuel taxes. Why aren't we getting the same? results out of well, the money, it's because and what that's a hard question to answer. So, mm -hmm. actually, when you add up the total tax burden f that goes to roads, true. we pay way less per than capita. not just Ohio, but, but everybody else. Don't and get that people, because she's got to explain that, but it's also true that uh, we've we've uh, we've muddied the the, the 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 streams of funding, right? That's I mean, right. We have money going to roads from things that aren't user taxes, mm -hmm. and then we have user taxes at the pump that are going to things that aren't the roads. I think she's trying to sort some of that out here. I mean, you can't fix it all in a, in a fell swoop, but that would also help people understand that we do pay less, and that's part of the reason all that the roads are bad. see I, is the pump price, and it. also this year they're renewing their license plates, and I don't know if you've renewed yours yet, but those I registration fee, mm -hmm. those registration fees, much they're higher. Really yeah. high. They're really high, and that's also hitting, you know, it's also regressive tax. It's also hitting... Low well, income I, drivers I, I, really I think hard. it's going to be interesting to see, yes, what tact they take in terms of selling this mm -hmm. to people and getting people to understand where the money is going to go. Number two, mm -hmm. if they're going to be able to get a budget by June. No. And I know that I, I know that was one of the things. It's not it's not codified, so it's 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 not a mandatory thing, but Should it's been, been what the precedent yeah. has been. Um, so we'll I'll be uh, interested gone, to it's see. It's gone past a couple of years. Uh, gone, not, the, far. The, the, not far past. It's not, not gone in October. Back into the days when it's the end of October right, yeah. or whenever the budget right, year starts. Right. I think she complicated that with the small business tax. She's picked an unnecessary fight when everybody should be focused on getting this gas tax through. She lost a lot of business support with that, and it mm -hmm. was just pointless. Mm -hmm. Absolutely needless. Uh, I don't, thing I, I don't to know do. if I'd say it's needless. It's a needless political fight. I think there is substance behind what she's trying to do there that's important. Uh, more people have to uh, bear more of the burden. Small businesses, I'm a small business owner, I know how little I pay in tax. Because well, the rate is not. That's because you might be. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, well, the, rate, the rate is not what people pay. Most small businesses get to write off all kinds of expenses and things. But you small do businesses not can want do more. Small to help engines offset. are the engine of this economy. I understand. You don't want to overburden small businesses. The tax we are structure, far from overburdening. The tax code yep. that we have now is working. To, to help these businesses grow, they're producing jobs. You don't want to double Not tax them. Income. You don't okay. want to tax them on both their their total business revenue I, I agree. and then their personal yeah. revenues, which was what this what this uh, try not to do. I, we should not yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. We should try well, not to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a double yeah. tax. All right. Something we're going to be debating mm -hmm. for a couple of months to come. <laughs>